What's up guys, welcome back. In today's video we are breaking down another challenging question where we have 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 all to the power of 10 and we have to find the value of this. So what we're going to do in here is that we're going to call our base in here x. So we have 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 is equal to x. If this is our x, what we are interested in is x to the power of 10, which is what we have to figure out. So we're going to multiply this equation by 2 in order to get rid of the denominator. We have 2x is equal to 1 plus square root of 5. And we're going to subtract 1 on each side of the equation. So 2x minus 1 is equal to square root of 5. And in order to get rid of the square root on the right side of the equation, we're going to take the power of 2 on this equation. So basically, we have 2x minus 1 to the power of 2 is equal to square root of 5 to the power of 2, which will be 5. And here we know when we have a minus b to the power of 2, this will be equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. And if that's the case, on the left side, we have 4x squared minus 2 times a, which is 2x times b plus 1 is equal to 5, which is what we had on the right side of the equation. So if we simplify this, we have 4x squared minus 4x plus 1 is equal to 5. And here we're going to subtract minus 5 on each side of the equation. And if we do that, we have 4x squared minus 4x plus 1 minus 5 is equal to 0. So if we look at our equation, we have 4x squared minus 4x minus 4 is equal to 0. And we can divide 4 in order to get rid of the 4 in our equation. So x squared minus x minus 1 is equal to 0. So here, if we add x plus 1 on each side of the equation we have x squared is equal to x plus 1 so just remember that we are interested in x to the power of 10 now we found the x squared so far so we're going to do the power of 2 again so we have x to the 2 to the 2 is equal to x plus 1 to the power of 2 left side we have a to the m to the power of n which will be equal to a to the m n so we can multiply these two, which is the case in here. So x to the power of 4 is equal to this time a plus b to the power of 2, which is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So that's going to give us x squared plus 2x plus 1. And remember what we called for x squared was x plus 1. So we have x plus 1 plus 2x plus 1, which is going to be 3x plus plus 2. Okay, now we have our x to the power of 4 is equal to 3x plus 2. Now, if we do one more time, so we have x to the 4 to the 2 is equal to 3x plus 2 all to the power of 2. And on the left side, we have x to the 8 is equal to 9x squared plus 2 times 3x times 2 plus b squared which is 2 squared or 4 and our x to the 8 is 9x squared so this is what we have for x squared basically our x squared is x plus 1 plus we have 2 times 3 times 2 12x plus 4 so our x to the power of 8 is basically 9x plus 9 plus 12x plus 4 so our x to the 8 is 9x plus 12x is 21x and we have 9 plus 4 which is 13 so now we have x to the 8 and what we are interested in is x to the 10 and from the laws of the exponent we know when we have a to the power of m times a to the n this will be equal to a to the power of m plus n so in order to get that x to the 10 so we just need to multiply x to the 8 by x to the 2 so 8 plus 2 is going to give us the 10 and we already found x to the 8 that was 21x plus 13 and what we have for x squared was what we found at the beginning which is here x plus 1 so if you want to find our x to the 10 we have 21x times x which is 21x squared plus 21x plus 13x 
plus 13. So x to the 10 is equal to 21. Instead of x squared, we're going to put x plus 1 one more time. So we'll have plus 21x plus 13x plus 13. And this is going to give us 21x plus 21 plus 21x plus 13x plus 13. So we have 13 plus 21x plus 21x. So 42x plus 13x, which is 55x plus 21 plus 13, which is 34. And now we're going to plug in the x that we have at the beginning of the question. We called our x 1 plus a square root of 5 divided by 2. So our x to the 10 here will be 55 times 1 plus a square root of 5 divided by 2 plus 34. So this is going to give us 55 over 2 plus 55 square root of 5 divided by 2 plus 34. We can take the common denominator here, which is 55 plus 55 square root of 5 plus 34 times 2 is 68. X to the 10 will be equal to 123 plus 55 square root of 5 over 2 which would be the final answer for this question. Hope this all made sense. If you have another approach, let me know in the comments so everyone benefits. And you guys stay safe and see you in the next video. Have a good one.